Hello, hello, campers. And this is Tales from the Campfire Podcast. <laughs> Do what? The podcast. Let's do it. You're supposed to say, take me, take us into battle, sir. Take us into battle, Captain. That's what you said the last two times. Mm, yep, because it's a battle against the normies, my guy. <laughs> okay, you went into fine detail about that last week. Yes, I did, and I still remember. So wow, I can that. hear myself breathe hard. Yeah, we all can. <laughs> <laughs> Pop filter, my dude. <laughs> That. For our audience's so, sake, please pop filter. pop filter. Dough. Can you still hear me? How about now? <laughs> no, you're not close enough to your mic now. It's pointed that way. <laughs> <laughs> Someday we'll figure it out. Oh, we have Manny back on the podcast. Hey. This week. I made it. Yeah. Loner car. Back from the dead. Right? Yes, in a, in a loner car. A loner car. Yeah. Jim Carrey. Let me borrow it. The furry one, yeah, the dog. Cloner. I don't get it. You guys never watched The Mask? Um, I I did, <laughs> but I don't remember the loner. When his car broke down, brokes, brokes, <laughs> brokes down, and breaks down, and he has to take it to the mechanic, and the mechanic's like, "Oh, it's just like a the oh. engine torn apart," and he's like, "Hey, get him the loner." The loner. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to hold this pop filter because it's not fucking doing it. <laughs> it's going it's to be a long couple hours holding that. Hey, last time I held my mic the whole fucking thing. That's true. <laughs> Manny has the willpower of the wildebeest. <laughs> wildebeest. I willed the beast. Wow, I'm fucking about to sell on my own microphone. Um, whoa. You just spritzed me? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've done it like five times. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no wonder I'm getting all cold over here. Yeah, man, he's just looking at me. He's just, like, just giggling back and forth. <laughs> You're not looking. I just do a quick little like. <laughs> I'm not a cat. I was like, why are you sweating? <laughs> why are you so sparkly? Why you hold, are you withholding why secrets from us? You are have you a brilliant sheen to us? your forehead. That's good. Are you a vampire? <laughs> are you the kind that you take the... Uh, Sunglasses and uh, you just sparkle in the, the sunlight. Is it because of your special abilities to be outside with the sunglasses that makes it okay for you to walk around like some sort of person? You're not people. You're not people. You vampire piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's that old witch's name uh, in Russia? <laughs> Baba Yaga. Yeah, you're, you're the Baba Yaga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not with my special hat today, but I have my special cup. No special hat. I could. I mean, it's like literally behind me. I did not come prepared at all. You guys got haircuts. And no. Oh, no haircuts. My hair's been... I shaved my head like two weeks ago. Yeah, you guys got haircuts. Um, oh, yeah. We, we started our podcast, didn't we? <laughs> yes, we did. Oh, man. We're just over here rambling. Playing around. Um, Jeez, I leave for one day. I am one of your camp counselors, Kegs. I am joined by Kev. Ah! Oh, you got your special hat on. Yeah, no, I have my special hat. Yeah. Uh, Take that and jerks. <laughs> yeah. His uh, needs. His needs Manny's, are in the hat. Manny's back this week. We already mentioned that. Yes. We are here to tell you tales of the creepy, the weird, and the highly strange. Like Keegan's bathroom. Yo, it literally said I was supposed to say that. No. <laughs> it literally says Manny. <laughs> It says, say hello, Manny. It says, and Manny, say hello, Bro, this, Manny. this is a living script. <laughs> the script changes a little bit every week, and I can't keep up with it myself. Look, I've already missed an episode. Now you're cutting airtime. <sighs> Look at that. It's <laughs> <laughs> supposed to teach you a lesson. You don't miss shit from here on out. Yeah. You start <laughs> taking things away, Manny. I'm sorry, guys. No pop Jesus. filter. No lies. Jesus. 
You have no pop filter. You have no lines. You are now just the understudy. We're going to put a suck on your mic. <laughs> the life suck. The crunchy life suck. Yes, 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 yes. Just a blow. A blow on my mic. You need to get closer to your mic is what you need to <laughs> you do. Are, you are way too far away. First the ball. You there sound you. like you are hiding with Sasquatch. I need to know. Yep. I just need to know. Like what? What? All right, let's no, go. You're fine. Okay. Right. You're <laughs> this week we'll be. It's the <laughs> This week we will be talking about the Native American legend of stick Indians. Not like stick drawings, but like stick Indians. Um, can you read the disclaimer for us, please? The disclaimer. Yes, it's very important for this episode. I the usually disclaimer. I do not and will not pretend to know fully what this legend entails. It is a controversial topic among certain tribes and should not be brought up and discussed lightly. Listeners, if you do not believe one can be cursed by just hearing a legend, please tune out now. Save yourself the trouble and just tune out now. Like I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to get any email saying, you cursed my whole family. Now uh, there's a weird light coming out of my closet and people are getting sucked into it. And my little girl is in the TV giving us warnings and shit. Look, we haven't even <laughs> done this episode and my car is broken down twice. It's the stick Indians. It's the it's, stick it Indians. It is. Um, like, <clears throat> Then I drive here. It starts snowing. It went from 70 degrees to negative yeah. 18. How was the drive from Madras? It was fucking normal. Oh. It was once you got to Bend. <laughs> Bend sucks. Okay, Kevin's got easy. He just lives here. Yeah, <laughs> you guys show up and you come to me. <laughs> yeah, dude. So it's supposed to be zero degrees tomorrow um, mm-hmm. in the morning. It's going to be... So just non-existent. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about driving home tonight. I, I hope you're good. I mean, no, I'm good. I, I came I, in a Hummer. So. You came in a Hummer? Yeah. God damn, that's a loner. Yes. The loner. Which uh, H is it? Three. The Chevy Colorado of the Hummer world. Of the, <laughs> of the Hummer world. I don't know why I'm just doing a lot of German accents. Hummer is the only people with Colorados that are like, you know what sounds good? Five cylinders. <laughs> Let's not make it an even number. Let's not make it easily balanceable. <laughs> Let's just throw a fucking fifth one in there. Is it true that Schwarzenegger is the reason Hummers were produced? That he pushed for the Hummer? Because they had the Humvee. Um, Schwarzenegger doesn't even like the new Hummers. Yeah, he he likes the old ones. Right. Uh, so I think the way the story goes is he he loved Humvees and he worked with them in movies, but they weren't com- a commercial vehicle. So he pushed for the production of commercial Humvees, and that's where the Hummer came from. I don't know. I've I don't never know heard that. I've never heard that. From what I understood, Hummer was bought by General Motors. And then General Motors is like, we have this fucking military vehicle that's fucking great. Stop spraying me, (laughs) asshole. I'm not a cat. It's great in the military. You know who who we should sell some some of these Hummers to? Middle-aged wives. Or Bam Bam Margera. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, so we can cut it in half. Um, I want to talk about these mystery booms. Oh, yeah, the ones that just happened this week. It was what, last night? Uh, The night before? Two nights ago. Sunday night. I have no no. You have no knowledge of this. No. Well, I mean, it happened Madras. here. So, um, did you hear him, Kevin? I did not. I was actually still at work, probably fighting a bum. Oh, um, no. So it, Sunday night, you know the story of the booms, right? Yeah. Go talk about it. Well, so there was this random boom that was heard through. What was it Madras Bend? I think it was Sisters, Bend. Redmond. Bended Redmond. Okay, so it was like super fucking loud, and everyone heard it slash felt it, and uh, everyone was like, "Oh, it might be explosives being done," you know, or um, this <laughs> crazy guy that was reported last year blowing up stuff, and it wasn't because like, how would all these people feel and hear that at the same time in different places that were really far away? Like, riddle me that, you know? And then people were just like, oh, it could be... Did you move your beers? No. I thought they were on the left side down here. Oh, so that's what this was. 
Oh my god. What is that? Wine? Coolers. It's nude. What is it? Nude hard seltzer. Just hand it to me. I don't care. Peach. You got a peachy one. Ooh. <laughs> you said okay, that the okay, mini so, fridge was going to so, be a problem tonight, and it is a problem I tonight. I told you. So mystery boom, right? Yeah, and then they're saying that uh, sisters could also be overdue to explode because that's volcanic. But then again, um, St. Helens is looking like it's about to as well. So They just said that St. Helens is more likely to explode than South Sister. The, but yeah, it was... Just to reiterate what you just said, it was sisters. Just go ahead the city. and clean up what I just did because I know the OCD in you. If I didn't say it the way you <laughs> wanted me to, you're just going to say it over anyway. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Um, the city of sisters, the city of sisters, the city of Bend, and the city of Redmond all heard loud booms at 9:15 and 9:45 p.m. Sunday night. Uh, police were called because here you go, here you go. So, yeah, so there was a large explosion. That's what I was reading about this morning then. So that is. The word home can mean lots of different things. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I got the story in my head, man. We good. I can tell you what happened, though. I don't want to do that. <laughs> it sounds like shit. <laughs> Says the Damn. guy who played the intro on an iPhone. <laughs> yeah, but that... <laughs> Fuck off. He got That's you. for us. He got you, though. That's for us. <laughs> I like you third roll already. <laughs> you mad. Um, I'm mad, too. It's fine. <laughs> police were called from a lot of people because last year someone had set off a like propane tank bomb or something, and it sounded very similar. But the problem with that is over the course of or over the span of like 30 miles, this rumbling boom was heard. And so much that in some places it was like shaking glass cups off of, you know, countertops and shit. Um, and yeah, I mean, the speculation is that something's going on with South Sister because it is a caldera is active and it has been admitting earthquakes. But earthquakes are a little bit different from what I know than a loud boom. But the official story is that someone was setting off explosives in a field, and that's what caused it, which is a little far-fetched given that people heard it 40 miles away. Well, with enough tannerite. That's what they said it was, was yeah. tannerite. But 40 miles to hear a boom? It's cold. It's odd. Yeah, cold, non-windy. You may hear the reverberations from it, but... But I live in Redmond. I didn't the reverb! Shit. Um... I don't think it's South Sister, but I mean, Oregon has a long history of weird sounds. There's like the metal on metal scraping sounds that happen in our woods, in the middle of fucking nowhere. And we just have weird shit like the Oregon Vortex and Bigfoot. Yeah. Um, yes. Oh, our mascot made it for the recording. Our session. mascot did make it and he's pointing his head right towards me. He's listening to you talk. But Oh, oh. This cat's got echolocation. He really does. Yeah, he knows that there's a table right here. Yes, he does. He can hear it. <laughs> He's he going to try to go he for it. Yeah. see it. He's our mascot, we decided last week. That's fine. That's fine. I think we should do stickers with his face, but with the, the eyes stitched shut. Do you think that's... Could absolutely do that. That's not too... Huh. That's, that's how I got him. Morbid. <laughs> I got him like that. Yeah. He is literally like that. And like oversized ears. Yeah. He's, yeah. Dude, his ears are pretty huge. They they have to be, and his tail is really long too. He's got a monkey tail. Hey Manny, can you reach that door? We have really good mics, and I can hear them, which means it's coming through one of that our mics. That everyone can hear them. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So I thought that was pretty weird. Besides that, in local news, all we really have is just fucking freezing temperatures and ice and snow, and yeah, it's pretty stupid. Land of the it's ice. Really and stupid snow. in late February. It is. Um, I'm tired of this shit. Yeah, my tropical blood does not allow it. <laughs> my German Scandinavian. You're you're normal. You're fine. This is yeah. just this is chill. He's not me. even wearing a sweater. This story tonight is going to be very odd. Um, as we said with the disclaimer, it's not something that if you believe in Native American religions or whatever you may call it, their beliefs, this may not be the best thing for you because. Much like the Wendigo or the Skinwalker, it's it's believed that if you speak about this entity, 
it could attract it. So a lot of tribes will avoid speaking about it. And we'll get a little bit more into that. Um, but let's try this new game out that I made. Let's do um, it. You based, got this. Yeah, it's based off the first episode that you named it the Wheel of Mythic or Crypticality. Yeah. I didn't want to copy them, so I'm calling it the Wheel of Crypts. <laughs> Not those kind you find in L.A. Not but, those know. kind of crypts. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could find those guys. The crypto um, wheel. Crypto wheel could work. Crypto wheel. Um, yeah. So let's get into it. The rotating gonna, board I, of cryptids. I might find a, a theme song for this game. Like, <laughs> yeah, kidding. Yeah, yeah, totally something. kidding. The <laughs> way this game works is we are going to generate our own based off of a wheel. So who can do a good wheel noise? Cause we don't have room in this room for an actual wheel. Manny, get a sound bite. Sugar. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, you got something. Big wheel sounds. I mean, I can put it in post. Sugar. Sugar. Kino, what you doing? Let me make sure a fucking commercial doesn't come up. Yeah, there's the commercial. <laughs> Mute. Is that Raid Shadow Legends? <laughs> <laughs> and this podcast is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. You want to know what it's like to play a turn-based MMO? <laughs> All right. <laughs> that worked. All right. Sure. So the animals that came up today are the lynx, which is like a big cat. I think we all know what a lynx is. Yeah. And a deer. So this cryptid is a cross between a big cat and a deer. Um, That'd be cool to see like a cat charging through the woods with like hooves, but then with like fucking antlers and shit. Yeah. Be crazy. Or still have the claws, but have like antlers for sure. Yeah. Almost like and a like jackalope, but a cat. The cat eyes, but yeah. on the sides of its head. <laughs> like a horse. <laughs> Tannen, why are you biting my cables, man? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Don't do it, Tannen. Tannen, why Don't are you do doing it? Okay, you stopped. Thank you. Um. All right. And let's find out what... Oh, this is from Missouri. The Missouri lynx deer. The Missouri deer lynx. Come on, you guys can help me out a little bit here. The, the Missouri leer. Dinks. Missouri dinks. Mm. Cat deer. The Missouri dat. Missouri. <laughs> You're trying real hard. I'm the you, but <laughs> <laughs> the Missouri deer link. Missouri deer link <laughs> but like when you say deer link i'm thinking of like a venison sausage like <laughs> <laughs> those back straps taste real good hey you stop that um the disery link uh, disery link uh, disery links i'm gonna go with dinks i like the dinks the deer links the dinks. missouri dinks the disery dinks like disery that. dinks disery dinks all right part Dizzery. cat part, part deer. missouri Part Missouri. <laughs> At no, part Missouri. Missouri. <laughs> Missouri. Um, you gotta right. say it without taking your lips apart. Missouri. Missouri. Um, all right. So next, let's talk about the appearance. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel. We got one through 12 here on appearances. Chicago. We got 12. <laughs> 12 is all fingers and toes are thumbs. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, here's a, here's the terrifying part. If every finger was a thumb, like that is like the craziest grip I could possibly think of. Yeah. I'm picturing human thumbs. Right, but like think of it this though. This deer cat. Like on your hand, the thumb is absolutely the strongest, the strongest yeah. digit you have. So if it grabs you, you aren't getting it's away. Just climbing up trees. Like you're you're done. And it's already part cat, so it's. But easy. here's the thing: if it's part cat, then that thumb's got a fucking claw on it. <laughs> Can't so it's like, it, oh my god! Okay, no, I'll like give that, you the that, that would be that would be insane. Like, not only are you getting tore apart like quickly, but that you're not getting away either. Um, its other attribute, according to the 
Shikaka. There you go. So maybe this will No. 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 Right. We'll load them in for next week. We'll we'll do the whole thing. Um. Then it's next uh, appearance. Uh, we got a seven on the wheel, and that it is giant. So it's not even your size. scarier. That is huge thumbs. We're talking when I wrote down giant on the wheel, I was thinking like 10 feet tall. Still pretty big. That's a big ass cat deer with That's a human thumbs big and claws. Cat deer. Um, let's let's spin for its powers. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like the intro to like an anime for sure. I'm about to make you close your laptop. Um, I'm trying to be productive, okay? Jeez. All right. Look at this. So, All right, Dad. <laughs> this animal shoots lightning out its ass from its thumb fingertips. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping for a Mongolian. No, we got another one. one. And it. Oh, that one's blank. I was going to have you guys fill those ones in. This is really terrible. It's bad. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I like lightning thumbs. Lightning thumbs is pretty good. Yeah. So and Count Dooku so, with all thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a giant deer cat with, with human thumbs. thumbs instead of toes. <laughs> and um, it's a giant deer cat with uh, human thumbs. It shoots and instead of hooves. Hooves with thumbs or just w- big thumbs two big thumbs i like that <laughs> two big thumbs on its hooves <laughs> two big thumbs instead of hooves that shoot lightning yeah that shoot lightning and it's giant of its thumbs like it, one of the thumbs it is, is said like the that the giant head. deer cat with lightning thumbs kills its prey during rainy days sometimes in the month of june sometimes, sometimes in the month of october yeah it's never actually been seen but <laughs> it's been heard of <laughs> If you have been one of those unfortunate people to wander in front of its path on a rainy day and you feel the tickle in your toes, <laughs> you are going to die. Static lightning. You are going to die today, big boy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is just a lightning bolt killed you. <laughs> when you are walking home by yourself and you feel your back of your hair stand up like the electricity is tickling your funny parts, you're going to die today, boy. You're going because to die very badly. Because the giant deer cat. That it kind of sounds like a Russian god. <laughs> yeah. You that, know, that like the giant cat. deer cat with thumb that hooves. The deer cat comes down and jams its thumb right up your butt. <laughs> I can't even say it's that. Gives you the shock of your come. life. <laughs> it's going to put its thumb right up your butt. And then you're going to feel the cold sting of electricity. You would be so shocked. Because it comes <laughs> from its thumbs. <laughs> You know how many thumbs it has? All of them are thumbs. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> it I was doesn't really, even have hooves. I was, I was like really that hoping guy from we were like going to get covered Destiny. in hard nipples. That was one of the options. <laughs> it was, it was, it was just like that. that one dude from Pink of Destiny when like Jack Black's in the fucking like, in like the bathroom. The yeah. He goes, the peak of destiny. He just shits himself. <laughs> 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 I'm going to take your eyeballs out. I'm going to take your balls out. Don't put your balls where your eyes used to be. Put your eyeballs where your balls are supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, Tim What's His Nuts from Shawshank. Yeah, I think so. Tim, yeah. uh, the Tool Man Taylor. No. Curry. Oh. <laughs> Alan. Tim Allen. <laughs> Tim Curry. Tiny Tim. <laughs> Did you say Tim Curry? <laughs> He was married to Susan Sarandon. Tim Sarandon. I do what I want to. What the fuck is his name? I don't even know. Uh, Tim. Tiptoe through the tulips. <laughs> through the window. Okay. We're going to get demonetized without even being monetized for <laughs> You think we're getting it's the monetized? Perf- it's the perfect time to be demonetized. All right. <laughs> right in the beginning stages is like, just go ahead and cut it off right at the nub like yeah, we don't need to even right start here. just we're, just we're put a pin getting, in it we're, we're put getting a, age put a pin in it put a pin in it it's over fuck um so let's go ahead and get into today's topic let's do it stick um, indians native americans yeah actually. so stick natives no story that i wrote this week um, this is just a direct, is a direct, direct from story. the source, um, bottled at the source, natural mineral water. This is 
user Little Miss Bite Me. Uh, she posted seven years ago to Reddit No Sleep uh, or r slash No Sleep. Um, the story I did edit down for time uh, and to remove some. There are a touchy subjects within this story that we call even R-word. don't feel yeah. really comfortable with sharing. So instead, we're going to fill that dead air time with uh, fart jokes. Yeah. I mean, and, um, <laughs> it's you know, true. When you stupid, get down to it, this <laughs> podcast is a comedy podcast. Kevin shits himself once again. I like how you like. Right I lowered to you, the dude. mic down. You lowered the for mic that for that one and am, aimed your ass in my general direction. <laughs> well, here's the thing: I had to uh, kind of bring life back to this after getting onto a touchy subject, kind of, because I know there are a lot of people out there that have suffered from this happening, and and, and I, I feel bad for you guys, and I'm sorry that that happened. But at the same time, we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of that triggering subject exactly and just have a good time still even though like you know that that is in there that's in the original story we just didn't feel comfortable discussing the topic this is a comedy podcast no um (laughs) if we were trying to be serious we wouldn't be doing podcasts if you want to read the original the unedited i did edit down for time too because that's kind of an important factor with the podcast um you can find this on reddit no sleep again the user is little miss bite me um If you're from a native family, you know the stories. You don't whistle at night because it attracts the stick Indians. You stay away from the creek at night because we don't fuck with the little people. And you give Sasquatch his goddamn beef jerky and leave him the fuck alone. These are all things I've accepted as a... What? Jack Lynx. Oh, that's what she was referencing. (laughs) Oh my god. I thought... Okay. (laughs) It's... Hold on. Hold on. (laughs) Hold on. How do you not know that reference? <laughs> I didn't get it. <laughs> oh it's gosh. like literally every beef jerky commercial that I've ever seen was a Jack Links commercial where Sasquatch just comes out and all he wants is a piece of beef jerky. That's it. Yeah, he literally steals the beef jerky. And he walks away. I know the commercial that you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I mean, he'll just beat the crap out of anyone trying to stop him, but he just takes the beef jerky and he's on his way. All right, well, give give him his goddamn beef jerky. It's Jack Links. That's it's a specific brand that he's after. <laughs> it's not actually really any, good jerky. Not any beef jerky, just Expensive. Jack Links. Okay. Yeah, Jack I mean, dude, any beef jerky is. That's true. Hey, Jack Links. We need uh, sponsors. What? <laughs> <laughs> These are all things I've accepted as a fact of life told to me by my grandma, a member of the Okanagan band in Canada. Now, I've never seen anything to quite back up her stories, but I'd heard the shrill shrieking screams of the stick Indians. I'd heard the stories of my family when they would go hunting and find things, things that would call out to you from the bushes, like things Lakes. that push you. Jack Lakes. Jack Lakes. Robert. Robert. <laughs> things Jack that would call out to you from the bushes. Robert, things that push your truck in the middle of the night and scream at you. And my favorite nightmare, the stick Indians that like to attack those that are stupid enough to attract them. I, hence the disclaimer. I, uh, I went to my bed hearing how they grow their tribes by finding pregnant women, ripping open their wombs, and tearing out infants to raise as their own. Ouch. Yeah. So that wouldn't work at all. You never know. It's that uh, all thumbs grip strength. <laughs> well, I'm just saying the, the dinks. <laughs> it's the it's the Missouri dinks. These these stick Indians know exactly when they're about to give birth. To. It, it's not a premature baby or anything. So, for my 18th birthday, my <laughs> friends and I went camping. We arrived at the campsite during midday. The six of us, Peyton, my best friend, had picked the spot. I couldn't have asked for a more beautiful location. Washington is known as the evergreen state for a reason, and the towering pines are worthy of pictures far exceeding the capability of my phone. I knew that at night I'd be imagining all the things that could be looming at me among their branches. But in the daylight, I reveled in breathing in their heavy scent. I reveled in breathing in their heavy scent. It's just like the trees I have in my car. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Except this one doesn't smell like black ice. 
<laughs> like you're doing the cross eyes and everything. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking anime character when I looked at you. It's got the uh, gal face over there. <laughs> After setting up and setting up... You guys are probably aren't going to hear all this, but I've, oh, I've okay. restarted this sentence like six times. <laughs> After setting up and setting more than a few hot dogs on the fire, Darian presented me an illegally obtained bottle of cinnamon whiskey, cheerfully added to our mugs of hot chocolate. Hot Cinnamon cow. whiskey, that hot sounds like fireball to me hot cow cow. Yikes, they're in for a treat Tipsy, they started begging me for ghost stories Come on, Serena Hey, big boy, gotta work camping Got a ghost story for me? It's dark This is what you're supposed to do Painted pointed out <laughs> In his most charming <laughs> tone possible <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that was that was your most charming tone thing. they're drunk <laughs> come on there's another line let's get that stories. what's the worst that could happen well I started ready to point out that it could very well call them <laughs> all fourth and get our throats ripped out but before I could finish Caleb chimed in I have a cat <laughs> 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 you know, I open my phone, my phone, and the first thing is just Peter Dinklage on a scooter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm up to some really important uh, research. <laughs> Caleb chimed in. Please, for me? I blushed. Caleb had been my team captain, and although I tried hard to hide my crush, I'm sure it somehow bumbled, bubbled over... Th- the sides and leaked out anyways. Ew. <laughs> it sounds like a muffin top to me. Sorry. A little crush goo there. Ooh. I admired his dedication and talent to our shared love of wrestling. And over the hours spent dying together, we soon had become close friends. Over the hours spent dying together. Uh, I'm assuming he refers to like clothes. Oh. Or like shirts. <laughs> I just don't go Dave Alton. Maybe uh, they do tie-dye. I sighed, defeated. Fine, which one do you want to hear about this time? A low voice spoke up. I want to hear a sick of stick people. A Sandy sick, requested. Sick people. Leaning forward in her chair. I just heard a low voice, so I just went for it. I went, the stick Indians, are you sure? I questioned, unwilling to relinquish my tales about them. <laughs> she nodded eagerly, her hair shaking wildly. <laughs> I could see pine needles in it from our earlier excursions. I sat back, my tongue loosened by the alcohol. <laughs> well, they say it was once a normal tribe, you know. They were tall, dark, with cascading black hair. Black hair. I don't know why I was reading it like that. Because she's drunk. She's Getting drunk. all valley girl with this. They <laughs> were drinking Malibu rum. They over. were always bad. But one day in the fall, it started snowing early. It didn't, <laughs> it didn't stop. It didn't stop. Mm. Okay. Uh, they were told. <laughs> Just ending everything with. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we're doing it from now on. Where, where's my jewel? Uh, but one day in the fall, it started snowing early, and it didn't stop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the people there ran out of food, having not expected the long winter ahead of them. And before long, they were starving. I'm Their hair hungry. started falling out, and what was left hung long and stringy. Their faces grew gaunt and pale. Their throats grew dry and their voices turned hoarse until they sounded like shrill screeches when they tried to talk. Their nails turned brittle. Their skin tightened on their frames until they were thin like sticks. Their breasts hung down towards their feet so low that you couldn't even tell they were breasts anymore. Their balls fell off. Their nipples clanked together as they walked. <laughs> All three of them. The sweat off their bow glistened as they crawled across the forest groves. They came at night. They crept into the woods. 
If you guys didn't get that, I added. I know, a, know. just a little <laughs> bit. Um, I I wanted to just uh, what's the word? Um, their improv. Feet. I wanted to improv, embellish the uh, story embellish a little bit with, with titties and balls. <laughs> they came their feet. Grandpa, no, it's grandma whipped by the ends of the fucking sunflowers. Wieners. Oh. <laughs> Welts all over the backs from the reeds that smack their back when they sleep. What the fuck <laughs> is it? I don't know. I'm just I'm trying to. they slept in the trees. I want to be you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, don't slap me, reeds. No. Sleeping reeds, don't slap me. <laughs> Maria. Ah. Just turn around. <laughs> Maria, let it hit you in but the face like a real woman. But then it slapped my titties. <laughs> They came at night. They crept into the woods towards the nearest tribe. They always come at night. They followed the sounds of whistling to the camp and they attacked. The scream f- filled the air, echoing in the valley for miles. <sighs> Good scream. The, Indi- the stick Indians were ruthless, slicing open skin with nails sharpened by hunger, tearing mouthfuls of flesh with hungry teeth. Once repulsed by the thought, they couldn't stop devouring the first f- fresh meat they tasted in months. It was delectable. De- it, it was delectable. Mm. Sweet <laughs> blood pouring from their mouths that they licked off the dirt, not willing to let the soil have what they so badly desired. When the sun rose, the stick Indians felt for the first time full. They slept no longer kept awake by the dull prongs of hunger. At night, they awoke to the sounds of whistling. They went to them, pricks of hunger itching their feet. It was silent. Oh, that was the end of the story. It was silent. Then, whistling. I threw the closest thing to me at Caleb. Ah, bro, what the hell is that for? Who batted away, laughing. It's It's not not funny, funny, I growled. That was me. It's not funny. Looking around furtively into the dark pines around us. <laughs> what Don't... the fuck is furtively? <laughs> is that like fertile and seductively at the same time? Furtively. You don't mess with that kind of shit. <laughs> he looks somber. Shouldn't say shit. It'll fuck up your language. <laughs> I'm sorry, Serena. I promise not to call the crazy imaginary friends you have to come hang out with us. I just thought they might want to have a few s'mores with us. I scowled at, scow, scowled. I, <laughs> I, 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 I scowled at him and opened my mouth to snipe back before Sha opened hers. Who was And only Sha? play a game. She peace offered, looking between us. Like hide and seek. Mm-hmm. That's a perfect <laughs> idea right after this terrifying story of stick people. I scowled at him and opened my mouth to snipe. Oh, wait. <laughs> I bit my lip. Yeah, I who's now lip. not paying attention? <laughs> I bit my lip as the others nodded, chiming <sighs> in their approval. I don't know, I said. What time is it? Peyton rolled his eyes as Andy whipped out her phone. 2.23. She answered. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't read ahead. He did not read ahead. <laughs> I thought it over. As long as Maybe we're I all did. done by three, it was well known that I refused to be outside or away from the campfire during the hour between 3 and 4 a.m. It was called the witching hour when all spirits came out and everything ran free. They agreed, and Caleb was chosen as the first seeker. So, all right. One, two, three, four. I could hear him. <laughs> that, that was supposed to be Manny's part, but I, I like the initiative. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I could hear him as I sprinted away, determined to find the best possible spot before he reached 100. 17, 18, I'm going to get you fuckers. 19, I'm so high. 20. <laughs> 20 odd yards away, I stopped, panting slightly. <sighs> Wait, she just ran 20 yards and couldn't breathe anymore? <laughs> Someone needs to stop smoking. Yeah, no shit, dude. They're drunk, dude. That was a fucking crooked 20 yards. <laughs> <laughs> it's, more, uh, it's like, it's like Pure the, uh, serpentine. <laughs> no, it's, it's like the horror movie, like, girl running away. She's got to trip over herself four times. She's running in fucking sand, basically. <laughs> what they didn't tell you is there's a 45 degree uphill where they <laughs> <laughs> Um... 
panting slightly, squinting my eyes in the dark. I could barely hear his voice in the distance from 20 <laughs> yards away. 74, 75, fuck, there's a lot of numbers. 76, 77. I stooped down below some ha- low-hanging branches, huddling up in fetal position against the trunk, trying to quiet my breathing. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come, you bunch of carpet sniffers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I scrunched up tighter, my ears alert. I couldn't hear any footsteps and soon found my eyes heavy, dripping, that should be drooping, drooping closed as I waited to be found, or for the loud. Ollie, Ollie, oxen free, my bros. The, like what they supposed to say loud. <laughs> um, no, he's being sneaky. I'm being defeat. sneaky. I'm telling him Ollie, Ollie, oxen free to myself. So in theory, they'd come out. And then I'd get them, but I don't want to give myself away, so I said it quietly. I said it quietly. So I said it a little quiet. It's a little quiet, but <laughs> Ollie, loud. Ollie, 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 a bunch of carpet sniffers. You can come out now. <laughs> Fucking rock rocks. Bruh, you gotta come out now. I said it. Mm. I said it. I said it. Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking said it. <laughs> I let them close, leaning my head forward on my knees. My head snapped up with a shrill whistling and not so distance. My eyes, no longer weighed by liquor, were wide. I could hear the crackling of footsteps on dry branches, shuffling around the fallen pine needles. The whistling grew closer and I could feel my heart pounding in fear. My watch glowed faintly in the blackness. 2.49. How had Caleb not found me yet? Had I slept through the call? I was sure whatever was out there was going to kill me, rake my flesh from my bones, and suck out the marrow. Amy. <laughs> the footsteps stopped a few yards <laughs> from the tree where I was hiding. Then, a clap. I sighed with relief. Kind of like a, Marco. We clapped to try to find the others. I clapped back, listening to the footsteps shuffle towards me. The branches swayed around me, and Caleb's pale face loomed in the black. He squinted at me. Serena? Is that you? I launched myself at him. I was so scared. I scolded him, trembling. I thought you were a stick Indian. I whispered the name. Oh, I thought you were a stick Indian. I whispered the name, remembering how close to 3 a.m. it was. Was that you whistling? He nodded, smiling. I was trying to see if you, if I could find the last stick Indian. Caleb joked, squeezing my thin side. It was a joke about how tiny I was, barely five foot and topping 105 pounds, soaking wet. We should get back. I don't want to be out much longer, I said, antsy, checking my watch. 2.56. If we hurried, we might make it. Caleb tugged at my hand pulling me towards him. Why don't we risk it a little bit? I don't want to go just yet. That was me looking into your eyes all sensual, like (laughs) biting my lip, like, mmm. Pods for emphasis. Yes, perfect. He murmured, (laughs) his, his arms wrapping around my waist. I blinked at him, confused, until he bent his head to mine, capturing my mouth in his. I was shocked. Got gotcha, you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was shocked and then softened, Got you now. kissing him back until I felt his hands dipping below the hemline of my shirt. Wait, I muttered, tugging at his hands. He tightened his grip on my waist, continuing, continuing his path up my shirt and under my bra, squeezing painfully. Caleb, stop it! I said <laughs> hoarsely, my hands pushing uselessly at his chest. I caught a glimpse of my watch, glowing in the darkness. It was 3.06. It took me a second to realize the screams ringing in my ears were not my own. Caleb's weight suddenly lifted, and I scrambled away, clutching fistfuls of twigs and dirt in my efforts to get away, and turned around to look behind me at the gurgling screeches. It was black with dirt, long and lanky, crouched over Caleb. Its strength was apparent in its effortless way of holding down the muscular boy flailing beneath it. So many thumbs. (laughs) I couldn't see its face. (laughs) 
hidden under a curtain of matted hair, encrusted with bugs and bits of tree. But here, oh, I could hear every bit of it, every slurp, every painful <laughs> shred of flesh. Pulled free from the bones was apparent. I froze in sick fascination, held witness to every second of it while Caleb screams die in his throat. Yeah, yeah, dude, that hurts, man. Stop. <laughs> That's my skin. Give it back. <laughs> While it, he finished his meal, when he was done, he turned his head to me. His face was long and thin and hollow. I could see every bone in its skull. The black bloodshot eyes sunk deep. His lips were thin and drawn back, really revealing long gray teeth stained with blood and chunks of meat. Did you got any chopstick? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tear my eyes away from him. Not even when he started crawling towards me. It's time for dessert. <laughs> Stupidly, I thought of Tarzan walking towards Jane. How he put I his weight know. form <laughs> on his hands and kind of hopped his long legs underneath him. He stopped inches from me, head tilted to the left. He lowered his face to mine until I could smell the rancid breath coming from his mouth. He leaned forward, arching his face up as he took a long sniff of me. Sunday. He never stopped looking at me, his eyes locked into mine. He looked up at the sound of footsteps crashing towards us. He, he stood, come. taller than anyone I had ever seen before and ever seen since. Looking down at me, he nodded, turning and disappearing yes. into the woods. He whistled. As he strode away. Uh, yeah, that was it. That was the story. <laughs> what do you guys think of my... Not my story, but a Little Miss Something story. That Little Miss it. Something story was good. part erotic novel. It's fan fiction. Yeah. It's fan fiction. Definitely. It's a fanfic between a stick engine and a regular person. Just a normal, everyday, ditzy girl from the valley. Dots to get turned up. Yeah. They prefer stick Native Americans. Stick no, Natives. They actually prefer stick Indians. I'll get to that. I mean, that's the thing. Is like I, I, I should have said engine. Eh, uh, it's, eh, eh, I think eh. it's a gray area. It's kind of a gray area because I, I mean, it's not like you call them a savage, right? I'm not, I'm not doing that in any sort of disrespect whatsoever. Although all, all in the comedy, we applaud your savagery. We applaud. We do, we do applaud it because that Caleb guy was up to nefarious things and he stopped him. I Good mean, for him. She, the Native American woman, did not, but the stick Indian. Like, Almost. for me, I was trying to just say, you know, Native Americans are savage, Bro. like, in a good way. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's uh, not how in the it 20, was in the 20th century. century. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, in 21st yeah. century terms of things, yes. He would have been a savage because he's, that, he's, he's 100%. Lit. Those little digital pixelated sunglasses would have came down and landed right there on the bridge of his nose. Snoop like dog would have played in the background. Yep. 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 That joint would have slid into his mouth. Exactly. Sponsored by Doritos, MLG plays. Like you got it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the kind of savage we're talking Straight about. Up. Not not the kind savage. that's like, hey, guess what? You know that shit was bad Liddy racial slur. Shitty. Damn son, where'd you find this? Damn son, where'd you find this? Boom, boom, boom. Bow, 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 bow. All right. So, <laughs> not one stereotype of stick Indians does exist. I did cover that one up. You're welcome. Yeah, you did. <laughs> not one not one stereotype of stick Indians exists. They are said to whistle for some, laugh like children for others. The Salish tribe describes them as being large and bigfoot bigfoot like, while the Yakimas consider them more of a forest dwarf. Dwarf. So like Peter Dinklage the <laughs> scooter. Oh uh, yes. Oh my god. Oh, man. Peter Dinklage. I love you. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He that definitely when, listens to this podcast. Mm. No, that the Game of Thrones <laughs> the Game of Thrones did him dirty. They made a, a calendar of all the uh Game of Thrones characters and they gave him February. The shortest month. <laughs> and he made a tweet about it. He actually tweeted him and he goes, 
to whomever made the, the calendar for Game of Thrones, I see what you did, and this will not be forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> That's so clever, though. I didn't even think about it until they pointed it out. I'm like, oh my god, they did. <laughs> All right. In Short some traditions, over. sick Indians have powers to paralyze, hypnotize, or cause insanity in hapless humans. In some stories, stick Indians may feast upon people who fall prey to them or kidnap children. They also take aggressive revenge against people who disrespect them, no matter how unintentionally. Much like Sasquatch or Skinwalkers, the topic is wholly avoided by North American tribes. To even speak of them or utter the native word for them is taboo. The term stick Indian is an English one, accepted and used to avoid starting a conflict with the creatures. Said to be nocturnal and bearing only the most basic of garments, stick Indians receive the name due to the fact that they are a type of primor primordial being only using sticks in place of weapons. Although the range of the powers differs, almost every tribe agrees that they are able to induce dread, confusion, and anxiety to humans, especially humans wandering alone. One of the ways they accomplish this is through disorienting a traveler by whistling and mimicking animal noises. Many people who disappeared were thought to have been taken by the stick Indians as a punishment for disrespecting them. Children sp specifically, children specifically were warned of stick Indians and wandering into the forest at night because the stick Indians stole them away and brought them up to act as wives and slaves. Uh, this is actually an interesting point because our next topic um, is the missing 401 National Park disappearances. Uh, could stick Indians still be wandering in our forest, taking hikers, campers, and hunters? I just want to make a weird point. Yeah. That it said that they take children specifically and steal them away to make them wives and slaves. Yeah, that's uh, it's kind of not okay, you know. Which know. also men melds with the four one one disappearances, where yeah. majority of them are young. You know who would yeah. be the perfect person to take care of the situation? David Politis, Chris Hansen, Zach Baggins. Come here, have a seat. <laughs> Can you have a seat. <laughs> so I pulled up your recent <laughs> conversation on AOL Messenger. <laughs> 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 Starts whistling at him. Hey, I'm not here for a date, sir. Fuck. She said she was 18. <laughs> she said she was 12. <laughs> have, you, have you heard that audio? He's like, I know who you're here to meet. You're, you're here to meet an 11 year old. He looks at the camera. She told me she was 12. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> no, I mean, it's like an act. That's a real thing. That, that guy's actually straight happened. fucked up. On so. the show? Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. I just came for the pizza, sir. You brought the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> you brought the pizza. You can't come um, for the pizza if if you, you brought it. It's like what is what what in the actual fuck? Man? I I would like to close with a quote from Lillian Pitt, a native artist, our local tribe here in Central Oregon. Ah, um, sorry, that was my bad. It's all good. I got wrapped up. Don't do it again. Uh, the stick Indian lives in the mountains and whistles like a bird. If a good person is lost in the woods, the stick Indian will guide him to safety, whereas a bad person will be led deeper into the forest. The stick Indian also steals badly behaved children, and Coyote, the trickster, is always involved to show us how not to behave or to have fun in a mischievous manner. Legend has it that he was the one who changed Tagagilal or Tsagagal. I, I tried. I'm sorry. I tried. Uh, the woman chief near Wishram into a rock to watch over her people forever. Robert. Forever. What do you guys think? Stick Indians? It could be possible, honestly. I mean, that doesn't sound too unfeasible. No. I think there's a lot... That is unknown when it comes to Native American lore. Um, because skinwalkers, I really feel, could be possible. Wendigo's not so much. Sasquatch is definitely possible. 
definitely, I, in my humble opinion, is real. Um, I do see a weird connection with stick Indians being large and lanky. I think it's a Wendigo. No, not just that. The, the tall grays. Oh, the tall whites and the yeah. tall grays. Stealing children. Yep. There's also like watchers. Yeah, watchers, watchers as well. It could fall under that category because yeah. that also, I believe, is Native American as well. Watchers. I don't know anything really about the watchers, but that's a fun one. You know, I think there's a inherent fear of things in the woods that are tall, lanky, and come and steal children. That's why Slender Man took off so well. Right. Yes. Except um, Slender Man likes to say all of this. Oh, I didn't know that. But yeah, now nah, the more you know. I mean, we've established that stick Indians are most likely the yeah. if they're stealing children and making the wives. <clears throat> it's slaves. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm um, gonna need you to make. <laughs> bite the, bite the <laughs> and dry. <laughs> um. So ending on that note, <laughs> yeah, really, what do you all think out there? Uh, stick Indians, do you think it's possible that they could be real lurking in our woods? Or do you think it could just be another campfire tale? Let us know. Let us know. Send uh, us your thoughts to Tales from the Campfire Podcast at gmail.com. You got it. That's the one. Or uh, the Instagram page. You can send us a message on there by the same name. Good night. And I love you. Jack Links, we need a sponsor. Robert. And remember, campers, don't go wandering too far from the campfire. There are things in the woods watching you, waiting for you to come into the dark.